Hello guys and welcome to my channel, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's projects! To make our potion bottles, we're gonna need bottles of course and I have these ones and also we're gonna use this flat black spray paint and I'm gonna spray paint those and as you can see the red one I didn't went all the way but the other ones are flat black. Now I'm gonna take my red and black <laughs> bottle and I'm gonna use this red crayon that I have. I always save my kiddos crayons because you can use them to DIY. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna struggle with the paper and remove it completely when we can. <laughs> yeah, the struggle is real <laughs> with that crayon. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna take a torch lighter and I'm gonna melt some of that crayon on top of my bottle. Like that. And we're gonna continue melting it all around our bottle. And just like that. And now I'm gonna take some time looking for another crayon. So I'm gonna remind you that if you like Modern Farmhouse, Bottle decor and a couple of silly jokes. Subscribe because that's what I do here. And yes, I took forever to find a piece of crayon. <laughs> now I'm gonna continue dripping it, and this is how it's looking. And that's it. We're gonna move on to our other other bottle. I don't know what's going on with my tongue today. And as you can see, the drips are are all around our bottle, including the top of our bottle. That's the style that I'm going for with this one, that it's gonna be a love potion bottle. And now we're gonna take the black one, or one of the black ones, <laughs> and we're gonna take a black crayon, and we're gonna do this exact same thing. And as you can see, today is fume day, so just open a window or make this in a well-ventilated area. And now we're gonna make our labels, and I wanted to add some of that felt, but I decided not to because they didn't look so cute. So we're gonna cut also some burlap and what we're gonna use is the burlap. And as you can see, I'm cutting some squares, but as you can see, if I use the felt, the burlap square, it's gonna be really small, so I need a bigger label. And that's why I decided to use my burlap alone. <laughs> And this is how they are looking. Now I'm gonna take my ink, chalk paint, and I'm gonna start writing my label. And for that I needed another type of paintbrush. <laughs> and I'm gonna start writing love potion. And guess what? That's not the first one <laughs> that we have done. Nope, that's not. So I want you to guess what number of love potion we've made, made today. Hmm. Did you say one? No, it's not the first one. Guess what? It's number nine. <laughs> I have made so many love potions for Halloween that this one is the ninth. <laughs> now I'm just cutting a heart out of felt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach that heart with some string. But first, I'm gonna start with my other labels. And one of them, for the round bottle, it's gonna be poison. We all need a little bit of poison in our lives, right? It's not only love potions. <laughs> now I'm gonna start writing my last label. And for that, I made a Prosper Begin Potion. And yeah, it was prosperity, but well, we don't have enough space, so we had to improvise. <laughs> so we're at it, Prosper Begin Potion. And then we're gonna move on to hot gluing our labels to our bottles. And for that, we add a bit of hot glue on the sides of our label after we distress it if we want. And then we add the hot glue and we stick it to our bottles. And just like that, we have a cute bottle. And now I'm taking some of that red string and I tie it around, cut a piece, tie a knot, and I'm gonna add my heart to the bottom. 
no my heart my felt hat <laughs> heart oh my goodness i even gave it a hat okay and we glue it <laughs> and now i'm gonna take some green string and i'm gonna take my prosper picking potion and i'm gonna add some of those coins that i have done even ask why i have that but it's piece of a belly dancing costume yeah don't even ask <laughs> And we're going to start adding some of those coins to our string. And just like that, we're going to add three of those, leaving like half an inch in between each coin. So we get a little bit of space. And after we finish with that, we're going to add the same coins to the other string. So we will have six points. And we cut the excess, add a bit of hot glue, and that's it. We repeat it with the other side. This is how it's looking. Now we're going to move on to the poison. And for that, I'm just taking those bracelets, and that's it. These are my potion bottles versus the Pinterest ones. Let me know what you think. This is part of the Pinterest DIY challenge for Halloween, hosted by Sonia from Domestic Diva DIY domestic diva home and domestic diva cooking in the description box down below you're gonna find the links to all of her channels and also for the playlist for this awesome challenge go and check that playlist out i know you're gonna love everything you find there remember that if you like modern farmhouse poho decor and lots of silly jokes that's what i do here so subscribe and follow me on my social media for our taxidermy, I'm going to use those wood planks kind of frames from Walmart and I'm going to use also this flat black spray paint from Walmart and I'm going to spray those with that spray paint. And our animals would be two bats, this glittery, glittery, glittery <laughs> spider and some snakes and I'm going to paint those using rose toleum gold. Now that everything is painted and dry, we're going to take our frames and we're going to start gluing our animals. And as you can see, we're making something really difficult for this project. Not, not at all. <laughs> so we're going to glue them to our frames, just like that. Lots of hot glue and then just stick it to the frame. Like that. Now I'm playing around with my bats because, you know, I like to play with my thingies. <laughs> And I'm going to stick that one there. Now, moving on to the snakes, you're going to see this different technique of just sticking them to the frame. You want the hot glue, being careful, don't get burned. And then you just let them <laughs> fall to the frame. Yeah, that's really a technique. <laughs> let me show you that again. You take a snake, you put it in your hand, you add the hot glue and just let it fall to the frame <laughs> and for the last one we're gonna repeat that technique <laughs> lots of hot glue being careful and letting it fall <laughs> and that's it we have three cute really cute taxidermy frames look at that they are beautiful this is my taxidermy and the pinterest one let me know what you think about mine and this is how they turned out. As you can see, we have over here the cute taxidermy. Look at those. I love how the glitter turned out with the gold spray paint. And over here we have the bats and the snakes. And this is how they are looking. They are so creepy cute. I love them. <laughs> and we have also our potion bottles that I'm going to show you right now. Look at them. Aren't they cute? I just love them. So cute. Remember that in the description box down below, I'm going to leave you the link to the playlist and also to our challenge host. I just want to take this opportunity to thank Sonia for bringing us this awesome challenge. And look at that. I love how this turned out. And remember that if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.